Welcome my friends. Today's video is going to be a great one because today is challenge day. So you know what that means. Today's video is going to be what the challenge is, what it's all about, how I've been prepping for it, and of course it's going to have my beginning measurements and stats so that we can do that all too coveted comparison video at the very end. I'm looking forward to that one and hoping that that's going to be the most exciting part, but we'll have to get into the challenge in order to see. So let's get into it, shall we? If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Miranda, and we are going to be doing the challenge called 75 Soft Challenge. Now, the reason that I chose this challenge is because I need to be challenged as part of my personality. It's probably something to do with my ADHD. I need to be crossing things off a list or checking boxes in order to feel like I've accomplished something. And I felt that the 75 soft challenge was the perfect challenge for me. It seemed like it was the perfect mix between getting things accomplished as far as not just activity, but also productivity, as well as being not so difficult that it would probably cause me to either have some sort of injury or turn me off and quote unquote fail within the first week. So it seemed like the perfect thing that I could dip my toe into and start getting back into the swing of things without causing an injury or turning myself off of a challenge in general. So let's get into what the 75 soft challenge is. Now, the reason I like 75 soft challenge is because it's customizable with a no fail rule. So the much harder version, obviously called 75 hard, has a rule that if you fail any task on any day, then you fail the challenge and must start from day one. That is not the case in the soft version. So it is a much less daunting version of this particular challenge. Without this rule, it seems like it would be a much easier way to go into this type of challenge. So what are the rules? Eat well and only drink alcohol on social occasions. Train for 45 minutes every day with one day of active recovery. Drink three liters of water every day and read 10 pages of any book in any form every day. What I like about these 75 soft challenge rules are they are customizable and adaptable to your lifestyle. So for example, the eat well and only drink on social occasions, there is no specific diet that you need to follow. Basically, you pick one that you enjoy and then you follow it for the 75 days. So if you're keto, carnivore, vegetarian, vegan, it doesn't matter. And that's what I like about this particular challenge is it's very flexible. You don't have to be sticking to a specific diet that is done by the challenge itself. You get to choose what works for you. Now there is no caveat for cheat days on this particular challenge. The soft version says nothing about cheat days. So I'm going to interpret that as only special occasions, just like the alcohol. Now I don't drink alcohol, so that's not going to be a problem for me. However, I do have three birthdays during this 75 day challenge. So my plan is to only have cheat meals on these three birthdays. So three cheat meals on these three birthdays during this challenge. The other days are all going to be clean eating days, as clean as I can make them, not, no takeout, nothing of that sort on the rest of those days during the 75 day challenge. As for the training for 45 minutes per day, I am going to specifically treat that as an actual workout and not include my dog walks. I have two Australian Shepherds and they do need quite a bit of activity to stay active and I do walk them every day. However, I'm not going to include their dog walks as part of this 45 minute activity. I'm going to treat that separately as a separate thing that they need. And I'm going to have a separate 45 minute uh, workout on top of the dog walks per day. So that could be cycling indoors on my stationary bike, whether it's just cycling or whether it's on the race apps. I could be doing a 45 minute walk on my walking workstation for work. Personally, not a big fan 
of my walking workstation. My husband built a nice little walking workstation attachment for my regular treadmill, but I prefer to walk outdoors if I'm going to walk as part of a workout. But I may include more walking workstation workouts just to get the steps in, get the extra movement in, and to increase the amount of workouts that I actually do throughout the day. I also have weight training. I also have my martial arts. There are many other activities that I can be doing and using those as the extra workouts throughout the week. And that's what I intend to do. I think the most difficult part of this challenge is actually going to be the water intake. Three liters of water is quite a bit of water. I'm not used to drinking three liters of water per day. And I'm just going to count the three liters of water goal as water. I'm not going to include fluid intake. So not my coffees, not diet pop, not anything along those lines, just strictly water. And this is going to make for some entertaining uh, footage because I'm going to be increasing my water primarily during the day because I want to be able to sleep all the way through the night and not have to get up in the middle of the night. So that means that there's going to be some extra bathroom breaks during my work week that I'm going to have to get used to as this water intake is going to be fairly new and my body's going to have to adjust to this and it will likely be dramatically increasing my morning and midday water intake and I'll taper it off towards the evening so that I can actually continue to sleep through the night without having to get up in the middle of the night. If you know, you know. What I'm looking forward to most is the reading ironically enough, and that's because I enjoy reading as a pastime. I do it for entertainment, for knowledge, I read quite a bit. And I have been, unfortunately, not being able to read a lot in the recent past, and I'm looking forward to getting back into it. I prefer to read hardcover books, like regular hands-on books, but I do have a Kindle that I read from as well. So in this particular challenge, it doesn't matter what form you read from, hardcover, softcover, Kindle, computer, doesn't matter. So any form of reading will count as the 10 pages of reading. I am trying to read directly from actual books because I enjoy the feel of actual books. However, if you're going to be following along, subscribe below and tell me if you're going to be doing your own books or a computer or Kindle, however you prefer to read. Now, what would be a challenge without some prep ahead of time, right? So what I've been doing to prep myself in order to get ready for this particular challenge is I'm making sure that my space is clean and ready to go. I have a walking treadmill in my bedroom that I use for work. Let's be honest, it's been gathering a little bit of dust. So I've been cleaning that off because I plan on potentially using that some days for uh, walking inside during work to get my workouts in. So the treadmill is specifically going to be for work if I want to walk during a meeting or if I am feeling like uh, a little stiff or something and want to get up and walk during my work week because I work at a sedentary job, want to get some extra steps in. My walking treadmill is something that I will probably be doing a little more diligently going forward, especially during this challenge, just to get some steps in and get a little bit more active during my work hours. But it's not something that I particularly would choose if I had to, maybe during the winter months, but definitely not something that I would choose to do if I had a choice. Other prep that's been done is washing those big Costco 42 ounce uh, water bottles because I'm going to have to get my water in. So I want to prep that ahead of time. First thing in the morning, fill those up. They keep the water nice and cold. So that way I've got nice cold water every day, all day. I particularly do not like drinking water if it's not cold. So I've got those all nice and prepped so that I can just fill them up, keep them handy, different spots in the house so that I've always got cold water when I need it. And that way it's just making sure that these habits are set up so that I am setting myself up for success, more success, making sure that things like veggies and fruit and other things like protein are all cut up, cooked, prepped, ready in the fridge, ready to go, easy for snacking, easy for quick dinners so that I'm not tempted when I'm done work for calling out for takeout or anything like that. Everything is good to go. So it makes it really eat quick, easy, simple. And I don't have to worry about making poor choices when my 
executive function may be a little low and my motivation is low and it's just easy to have someone else make dinner and deliver it for me. So now let's get into my measurements. I'm going to call this my worst part because this is the before. This is the part where I can only get better from here. I'm going to go over my weight, my measurements, my resting heart rate, blood glucose level, my blood pressure, all that good stuff. And this way we have a baseline for where I'm sitting at now. And that way at the very end of the 75 days, we can see how much everything's improved and know exactly how well this challenge went for me. Because for me, this is a weight loss challenge. I'm doing this as a motivation to lose weight and get healthier and establish new habits. And after all, this is a weight loss channel. I am doing this to become healthier. So we are putting in all of the before metrics because I intend to lose weight. Now, if that's something that you're not intending to do, lose weight, then absolutely use this as a challenge to help yourself with productivity, increasing your water intake, getting more physically active, whatever you have to do, just use it to, as you see fit and leave the weight loss off the table. It's perfectly okay to just use this challenge as something to get you more motivated, to get a little bit more active or change the way that you do something to get yourself into a better, healthier place. So let's go ahead and look at the beginning metrics for my part of the challenge. So there you have it. It's not the best start, but it's a start. And I know that it's only going to get better from here. I can't wait to see what it looks like after the next 75 days of this challenge. So I'm looking forward to seeing you on the rest of this journey and following along with the next 75 days of my 75 soft challenge. And until next time, stay amazing.